And hello everybody, this is Daniel here, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to get Minecraft server 1.7.10, step by step. It's for the updated version of Minecraft, so this should work simply for to make a Minecraft server, because things have changed from my previous tutorial, if you have seen it. And yeah, let's get started. The first thing you want to do is open up your web browser, and then go ahead and go to minecraft.net slash download. There will be the link in the description for this. So now you're going to click on Minecraft underscore 1.10.10.exe or whatever version is shown. So let it download. Minimize your browser and right click anywhere in the desktop. Hover over new. Click on folder. So from here you're going to name the folder whatever you going to want to name it. I'm going to name mine Minecraft server. Click enter. Now you're going to click on start and click computer click on downloads click on minecraft underscore server 1.7.10 and drag it out into your folder just like that so double click inside the folder and right click the minecraft server click on rename now now delete all the digits 1.7.10 and then delete the dot as well and make sure it looks like I made it so from here you're gonna double click it click run and it, it'll make some files and then close you guys need these files now most people get confused here and they're gonna be like oh why is it not opening so if you guys uh, try to run it again it's not gonna work I'll show you why in just a second and it's because of the new file they added it's called EULA you're gonna open it and then it says EULA false. This means that you have to accept the terms and condition. You're going to change the false to true and click file save. So now you're going to close and it should work now because this is the new thing that Mojang added because they have new terms and conditions. So save and close it and yeah. If you double click it, it's going to start working. And there you guys have it. Your server is running. Now wait about 10 seconds and then you guys are going to type in the command stop. Then wait another 10 to 15 seconds and then it's going to close. Now you guys are going to see these files. You're going to go into server.properties, don't, but don't open it. You're going to right click it and then click on open with. You're going to ch click choose more options and then keep using notepad. So now it's going to give you a bunch of words and then you're going to look for the thing called online mode equals true and change true to false. You must change it to false. Then you're going to look for the server IP and this is where you're going to put your IPv4 address. To find your IPv4 address, click start and click run. Click run and then you're going to type in CMD click OK and if you're on Windows 8 you're gonna click the Windows R key and it'll it'll come up so now you can click OK after you type in CMD now you're gonna click you're gonna write IP config and right click enter so now right here is the IPv4 address this is what you're looking for mine is 1.192.168.1.1 I mean dot two so yours will of course be different so you can copy yours onto the file and yeah so you must 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 put your own not mine or else it will not work so there you guys have it so now you're gonna look for the server port and by default it's 25565 you're gonna make sure it stays the same because so you're gonna copy it now you're gonna click on file and save make sure you save this so there you go so the next step, you guys are going to right click inside the folder and you guys are going to make a new text document. So go ahead and do that and make that. Doesn't matter the name. And you're going to look in the description and then you're going to copy and paste the slide of code that I wrote for you guys. 
So now you're going to click on File, Save As, type in run.bat, and then you're going to click on All Files. Very important. Now, once it's saved, you exit out, and then it's going to be run.bat file. Make sure, double check. Now, if you run it, it should work. Now, the reason why you made this is to give your server more memory slash RAM, pretty much, so more people can join. Now, if the code doesn't work, I have different codes that you guys can try, and yeah, in the description, as always. Make sure you do put in the quotation marks. Okay, so now that we have that done, you can open up your browser, and then go into Google, and then you're going to type in VTorrent. After you go on their website, you're going to click free download, and I'm going to tell you why, why you need this. You need this to port forward. This is the easiest way I know of to port forward. So now, after you download it, you're going to run it, make sure it's installed, and this is easier than port forwarding on your router. So now you're going to click, I agree, next, next, next. Oh, wait, no, you have to uncheck, I'd like to check it as download. Next, decline all other after, off. Ah, then click decline. Yeah, make sure you decline all their offers they give you because they're probably viruses. Now you're gonna click on no thanks, and pretty much you're gonna click on options, then go into preferences, or you can click control P. You're gonna click on connection, and you're gonna type in the port 25565. You have to make sure you type that in. Apply and OK. So now you're good to go. Now your port forwarded. This is so much easier. And yeah, never close uTorrent whenever you run your server, or else it will not open up to the internet. Now once you run Minecraft, you're good to go. You can get on your server, and you're all good. So now you click play, like always, to turn on Minecraft. You go into multiplayer. And yeah, you're going to add a server. You're going to name it whatever you want. You're going to type in your IPv4 address like earlier. If yours doesn't work, you could go to IP Chicken and it'll give you your IP before. It'll also give you your IP address, and there you go. That's my server that I currently made. Yeah, you can also do localhost for your computer. That's for only you. So those are the three ways you can connect. Yep. So now, as you can see, we are on the server, and yeah, that's about it. If you want your friends to join, make sure they type in your IP, and then they type in the colon, and then your port number. So to up yourself, all you're going to do is go to the, the console, which is this thing right here. You're going to do, yep, you're going to type in op, and then you're going to click, you're going to write op, and then your name. Alright, so as you can see, I can go into creative and do whatever I want. I have infinite blocks. So good. But be careful because your server can be destroyed by your friends if you don't know them, honestly. So that's about it. I hope you guys have enjoyed and click the subscribe button and don't forget to leave a comment like always. This is Daniel and peace. See you guys next time.